Hey guys, uh, back for another video. This is going to be a response to Cody Captain Jack Harkness for about his most anticipated uh, new and returning shows of the 2010 to 2011 television season. So I'm just going to do my list. Some of it's going to be the same, in fact, quite a lot of it probably. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, I'm going to include mid season shows. So yeah, there we go. Okay, first off on September 8th, I believe. September 8th, yep, is uh, Terriers, which is a new FX show uh, created by uh, Sean Ryan, which I don't really know what it's about, to be honest, um, but it's created by Sean Ryan, so I'm going to give it a look. It's on FX, and they produce mostly good stuff, good shows, so I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, and then on the, uh, September 9th, we have um, Vampire Diaries, which I'm hoping to catch up on. Uh, but I don't know if I will. I, I saw some of season one, but I want to watch it all before season two starts. Don't know if I'll be able to do that because I actually just realised it's actually really soon when it starts. So I probably won't be able to do that. But, anyways, um, I guess just looking forward to sort of watching season one and then eventually season two. Um, and possibly Nikita as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to check that out. I might give the pilot a look. I don't know. And then uh, <laughs> this is another kind of cheat. September 14th is Parenthood, which I've never watched. <laughs> um, I'm, her, I'm gonna hopefully watch the first season soon, and then uh, I'll be able to catch up on the second season because it starts on the uh, yeah, 14th, so it's Parenthood. And then Sunday the 19th, we have Broadwalk Empire, which starts on HBO, which is a um, Mark Scorsese series. He's directed the pilot. And that looks really good, it looks really amazing. Um, it's sort of like a gangster series and it just looks like gold, like they put so much effort into it. I was reading an article on it, so much time and effort has been put into that series and it looks like it's really paid off. I've had nothing but amazing things about it, um, so I'm really looking forward to that. On the 20th, How I Met Your Mother returns for season 6. I fell behind on season 4 and haven't watched since then, so it's going to be a while before I catch up on that. Also on the 20th, Chuck returns for season 4, which I'm really excited for that as well. Season 3 was great, I really liked it a lot. And season 3 really opens up the possibilities, the kind of the end of season 3 for where season 4 can go. Some really cool casting news coming out, it looks like it's going to be really fun, really exciting stuff. Um, and also on that same day, the event premieres on NBC, which I'm not really, I mean it looks okay, but I don't know, I think it'll just like be on for 13 episodes and then get cancelled won't be that big a hit but who knows it's like a one kind of another losty type show but it looks like it might go more in the direction of flash forward which is a bit rubbish then on september 21st uh glee comes back for season two which i'm hopeful for let's say that i just i really liked season one i didn't think it was amazing but i really liked it some of the episodes and the songs were great and it was just overall really enjoyable series I really just hope they don't fuck up series uh, season two like they did on Heroes and stuff because it's so popular that I just think they're going to get lost in their own like popularness and just like fuck it all up like Heroes did. So here's hoping for Glee season two. And then on September 22nd, Modern Family comes back, which I need to watch the end of season one of that. Uh, but that's going to be back for season two, and that's a really awesome show. Really great stuff, uh, really funny, and hope they just can keep up that momentum and make it even better. And I'm sure they will because it's not like a hugely successful show, so I think that will keep them sort of funny, as it were. Then on September 23rd, Fringe comes back for season three, um, which is going to be it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for Fringe season three. Season two, just like season one was pretty good, and then season two just. Phew, took it to a whole other level, it was great, the ending was amazing, and I can't wait to see what they do with season 3, um, it's really exciting stuff, it looks like it's it just what they're, what they're saying, what they're talking about, it looks, oh it just looks so good, and then also that day Bones premieres for season 6, but I have only, haven't seen season 5, so I'm going to watch that and then maybe I'll be able to catch up on season 6 or something, and then on September 24th, uh, Supernatural comes back for season 6, which I'm looking forward to. Season 5 was really good, um, and it's going to be interesting to see where they go, because after season 5 closes off the, the 
all the whole arc they've been doing for the five seasons. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like a new kind of chapter in the show, I guess, which is going to be really interesting. And then September 26th, Dexter comes back for season five. <sighs> So excited! Season 4 was amazing, I'm not saying anything about Season 4, but I'm just going to say this. If you have seen it, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Season 5 is going to be really interesting to see what they do with that. The trailer looks really good, and it looks like... I just, I'm like, how long, how much longer can this show go on for? I reckon they'll probably end it after Season 6, that's my guess. Then, on the 28th, Stargate Universe comes back for Season 2 on Sci-Fi. Uh, I don't know when that'll come in on Sky 1, but it looks really cool. Trailer looks awesome. Season 1 was great, not perfect, but I really liked it. And um, I think this, you know, this direction that Stargate's going in is really cool. It's kind of where I've always wanted Stargate to go, in a more sort of character-driven direction, a little more heavy. So I'm looking forward to Season 2 quite a lot. Then, on October 27th, Friday Night Lights comes back to the last season. Which looks, it's going to be awesome because we've got loads of people coming back for, you know, to round things off. Um, you know, people moving on, new char- I think there's a new character coming in again and we've got, you know, developing new characters. It's going to be really interesting to see what they do with season five and I don't really know, you know, nothing's really been said about it apart from it's the last season. So people are coming back and that they're finished filming it now. Um, that starts, yeah, October 27th on DirecTV. And I guess it'll be starting in 2011 on um, NBC in the second airing. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Friday night. Then on October 31st, which I think is premiering same day all over in tons of countries, um, which is going to be on FX in the UK, but AMC in the US is The Walking Dead, uh, which looks, just looks fucking brilliant. I love the comic. The comic is really good. I've only read some of it, but it's, it's awesome. And this, I've heard nothing but good things about the series. The trailer looks amazing. It looks like it's going to be really, really good. A really solid show. And then for mid-season shows, uh, we've got, which it doesn't have an air date yet, I don't think, but it's January, February time probably, is Ride Along, which is a police show um, created by Sean Ryan, which has got What's-His-Face and the new guy, one of the new guys from Friday Night Lights in it, um, season four. He's in a ride along, which is going to be awesome. It looks it looks really good. It's on Fox, so I hope it sticks around for a while because it looks good. And then also we've got in January, we've got the second half of Caprica uh, season one, which looks really good as well. Love the first half. It was great stuff. Really interested to see where they go with the um, second half of season one. I hope it sticks around for the time to come. I really liked it. Just thought I'd quickly throw this one in, which I forgot. It is um, Southland, which is the police show. I'm still watching season one, but it's only seven episodes. And I think I've watched like four. So I've got a couple episodes left in season one. And season two is like six episodes. And season three starts next year on uh, TNT. And so, I mean, I think there'll be some production cuts and some cast cuts, but um, hopefully it still keeps up the quality that's been going out and just gets better. Um, yeah, that will start next year. It's got Ben McKenzie and stuff from the OC in it. Um, it's a really good show, actually. A really good, kind of gritty police show, and um, I'm really enjoying what I've seen of it. So that's Southland, which starts, I think it's January on uh, Season 3 on TNT. And I don't think this has an air date, but I assume it'll be airing next year. I guess I'll just include it uh, next year in January February, March time, I can't remember when it airs exactly, but it's a third series, season, uh, Being Human, um, which, uh, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be really good, they've moved locations now, and, um, you know, it's going to be interesting with what we saw at the end of season two, um, as to where they go with season three, series three, whatever, um, yeah, it's a really cool British show, I really like it a lot, and I can't wait to see what they do in the next season. There's one show I actually forgot to mention, which I haven't caught up on yet, but it's Sons of Anarchy, which starts on the 7th of September, um, which, that is season 3, I haven't seen any of season 2 yet, um, so I'm going to hopefully get that, it's out on DVD now, so hopefully get that, catch up on that, and then be able to watch um, uh, season 3 as it's airing. Uh, so that's been my video on new 
and uh, returning shows, shows that I'm looking forward to. Sounds like there's going to be some really good stuff. Um, there may be some other shows that I check out, just, you know, uh, critical, critical acclaim. Um, there was one show I forgot to mention, which is Running Wild, I think it's called. It has uh, Will Arnett and um, what's the face from Felicity? Uh, Felicity, uh, Gary Russell, which I think is a comedy, I'm not sure. And that, I've some promos for that was... I've seen some little promotional stuff that looks fun, so I'm not, you know, um, you know, running wild. Yeah, it starts on 21st September. That's it. <laughs> that is definitely it now. Um, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you whenever. DVD update, whatever. Random videos, whatever I decide to do. So, feel free to make a response to Cody or me or whoever and just, you know, comment down what you're looking forward to. Okay, peace.